So what we're trying to do is we want to know the amount of oxygen produced. So we've got hydrogen peroxide producing in the presence of catalase, producing water and oxygen. I'm just going to balance it straight away. So that's your balanced equation. Okay. We used 3% hydrogen peroxide. And the amount you guys said you put there was 2 mils. So we want to know if we put 2 mils of hydrogen peroxide, what this value of the actual volume of oxygen we're going to get out, that volume of oxygen. We want to know. Okay. So we've got 3%. Or 3 divided by 100 times that 2 mils. Let's get my calculator out. So you get 0 0.6, 0 0.06 mil of oxygen or of hydrogen peroxide. What am I saying? So hydrogen peroxide. Now we have this formula over here. Focus here. So that formula tells us our ratio of hydrogen peroxide to oxygen is 2 is to 1. So for every two moles of hydrogen peroxide, we have one mole of oxygen. Okay. Then what we can do is we've got this 0 0.06 mils. And once we've got that ratio, one thing to know, and I'm sure you've seen this before, one mil is approximately the same as one gram. That's an assumption we can make. So we want to know the mass of oxygen. Well, let's let's get the mass of hydrogen peroxide first. So the mass of hydrogen peroxide would be, if zero, if, if one mil is one gram, would be zero point zero six grams. Does that make sense? I'm using that relationship there, because if I've got zero point zero six, zero point zero six mils here would be zero point zero six grams, because it's one is one. Okay. Now I've got that much of hydrogen peroxide now the number of moles n is mass over molar mass now this is where you're getting a bit of that chemistry so mass over molar mass the mass is there 0 0.06 but this molar mass molar mass of hydrogen pero hydrogen peroxide in the periodic table hydrogen is 1 1 oxygen is 816 or something like that so there are two of hydrogen so that's the mass number we're looking at so 2 plus 16 times 2 is 32 so the molar mass is 34 grams per mole don't focus don't worry too much about that chemistry just we just wanted that end result okay so dividing by that 34 I get the number of moles of hydrogen peroxide 0 0.0018 moles of hydrogen peroxide but I want the moles of oxygen so ratio I said um, basically that ratio that is at the top the ratio H2O2 to oxygen is 2 is to 1 and that I'm getting from my balanced equation 2 hydrogen peroxide to 1 of oxygen right so if I have got the ratio and I've got the the moles of hydrogen peroxide the moles of oxygen would be that 0 0.0018 divided by 2 right for every two moles of hydrogen peroxide one mole of oxygen and I get 0 0.0009 should have been able to do that okay all right perfect so this is moles now another piece of information that you can know is one mole of a gas, any gas, at standard temperature and pressure is 24.4 milliliters or liters. Sorry. Now we can get the volume of oxygen. So one mole is that much. We have got 0 0.009, left a zero. Nine moles of oxygen would be how much? So you just multiply those two values. So 0 0.0009 times 24.4 and you've got 0 0.02 mils, liters, sorry. If I multiply that by 1000 to change to milliliters, I've got 21.96 or 22, let's say 22 
milliliters of oxygen being produced. So if we look at it from the very top, out of all of this, the amount of oxygen for using 3% hydrogen peroxide, by putting 2 mils of hydrogen peroxide in there at 3% concentration, you will get about 22 mils of oxygen being produced. Now, having said this,